Hello, look at this. This is December 16th, 2.24 Synthesis update released by Hello Games. You may remember this update as the Bite Beat update, or the update that increased hyperdrive stats to 80%, or the update that fixed ship stats to a particular ship, allowing anyone to buy a ship with the exact stats they want. I don't remember that one. Let me explain. So, here we are in the space station. I've got a couple of ships here. I'm going to choose this fighter it's called the the mother of infinity and so it doesn't fly off i'll just speak to him a bit this these have those stats as a c but i can tell you now before i've even upgraded it that mother infinity stats are shield strength 190.6 and maneuverability 404.3 damage potential I haven't wrote down because it's a bit unfunny so but I'll go with those two stats to start with so I'll buy that and upgrade it so let's have a look at it again I'm going to upgrade to this this to an S class and it will be 190.6 and 404.3 so upgrade upgrade again Here we are, 50,000 nanites to the S class. So I'll repeat what I've just said. The shield will be 190.6, the hyperdrive will be 101, it can't go any higher, and the maneuverability will be 104.3. And that's what it is. Damage potential is funny, it, it, it doesn't really change much anyway, so there's not really much point speaking about damage potential so now I'll reload and I will do another ship so I've reloaded I can use this ship now this is whatever that says WZ6 I've got that written down as well so before I so there are the stats. I know that the shield strength is going to upgrade to 192.8. I know the hyperdrive is going to go up to 177.6, which is pretty good. And I know the maneuverability is going to be 408.4. So I'll buy that. Back up to the... Uh, up here. That's the cl Claws of Dreams. If I, I'm just going to do a bonus one. That's got 190 shield, 161.3 hyperdrive, and 413.7 maneuverability. So I'll just do this one. Then I'm going to do blind test by going to a random system and see what I can find there. So I've got that's up to an A class. A class. Uh, d -d -d there you go. Up to the S class, and again, I'll say the stat. The stat is 192.8, 177.6, and 108, um, 408.4, and that's what it is. It's the same every single time. You upgrade any ship, it will it will hit that same stat. No matter where you start from, as B, C, or A, it will end up with the exact same stats throughout. So I'm going to now try it because on a different system, and it's going to be a a crappy system. It's going to be one of the low systems where you can't get an S class, but they might be a hidden one. 
that's got some good stats in there. So I'm going to reload and I'm going to go to another system. So right next door, uh, that's my that's my location. Right next door is a declining system, a GEC system. Let's go there and see what we can find. There shouldn't be any S classes. I can't get any S classes in this system. They won't spawn, but I can upgrade a ship to an S class. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. A declining GEC system. And it's got a short runway, so that's nice. I'll wait for those to come in. Right, so this this ship's coming. It looks a bit more distinctive than the shuttle that was there, so I can I can find this one again. So I don't know any of the stats of this one, so I'm just gonna buy it and then upgrade it. So buy it. So now I've upgraded it. Oh, it's a nice hyperdrive. 178.7. 191.6 and 413.2 I'll screenshot that for later give me a little ping there it is and now I'll reload and I'll find that ship again it's called a Whispering, Whispering Eagle LJ8 so I'll reload and wait for that to come back hopefully it's not too long hello Mr Whispering Eagle thank you for coming back so quickly that was actually quick Quite grateful for that one. <laughs> I wonder if the um, I don't know if the Gex and the, have got the same names, and I'm not sure. I, I might I can check that back on the footage. And I've just checked, and he is the same Gex. And while I'm here, I'm going to just show some of the, the the screenshots I did last night. Just as I did, I've done those shot, done those in the video. I can show this one. So there's that one. One, 191.8. 191.8. 108.5. 108.5. And I, I, I did show that one, but I'll show where I... 190, 161.3 and 113.7. And then there's the next one. Exact same stats. I don't think I found another one of those. I might have done. 93.5, 172.1, 125 point four. Four it's four hundred. Four hundred. Not one hundred. Four hundred. <laughs> I get it wrong later as well. Exactly the same stats. Uh, that one, that's from the next system. Uh, I don't know if I did the red one. Maybe I did. Yeah, there you go. Shield strength, 100. It, that, see, these where it gets a bit skewed because that's already got a shield. And I don't know if this one had a shield already. See, that hasn't got a shield. So the one before is going to have a better shield. That's why, that's why I say later you have to... Um, remember to move delete stuff otherwise the the actual stats will be skewed but anyway back to me earlier saying the other stuff see ya so uh stat that those stats will be different when you buy the ships i could get another c and they could be completely different but it's the upgrade the upgrade is tied to a particular seed as the uh as the patch notes say. So I'll upgrade this to the, the S. Yes. To do this you you, you do to, to like catalogue basically the uh, the different uh, stats. You do need 185 if it's an S if it's a C class. You you the minimum you need is 50 nanites really if you just find an A. A's are quite um you're going to find a lot more A's and you're going to find S's. And in this system, there are no S's, so I won't. I will never find an S. So I'm up to A. You will find less S A classes also here, so it's probably a better idea to just have 
have 85,000, upgrade the ship, look at what the stats are, take a screenshot, post them wherever you want to post them, and uh, reload. Don't get in the ship, <laughs> unless you really like it. So there's an S-Class, it's gone from B to A to S, it takes ages, so I'm not going to even bother. 178.7. Four hundred and thirteen point two, a hundred ninety one point six. I think they were pretty much the same. I'm gonna go back into my uh, screenshots and take the picture of that one, and they are exactly the same. Thirteen point two, and there you go. Anyone can come here. Anyone can buy that ship at a C class and put it up to the exact stat that someone has recommended them. Think of your databases, think of your um, coordinates exchange, think of a certain person sitting in the Midlands right, right about now writing his little database, <laughs> stroking his beard. Get that beard oil out Zane, because you might have some work to do now. I'm going to end this video with a bit of a, um, you know, a caveat, I think they call it, a caveat, a cautionary tale. This could be tied to my seed, so I don't know if um, this works for everyone. I assume it won't work for everyone. I assume that the, uh, the ship stats don't, don't work like that. I know ship stats for hyperdrives and your upgrades work on your particular seed it's a bit hard to um you can't really get around that one but this i i think i can't be 100 percent sure that it's tied to everyone but seeing as this ship is will will most probably be there for everybody i assume the stats are there for everybody so that's where i end it i end it on a test i will put a a link up to the previous system because I've got the most stats there. So if we can we can compare and contrast these stats. Any one of these could be an amazing ship. You just don't know. It could have the best stats you've ever seen. This is a a bad system, but it could be you could get anything in this system. It's just opened up the the whole game to um ship hunting to any system now because in any system you can get an S class because in any system you can upgrade of course and there's one downside to this you can't do this with exotics if you've got an exotic then you've got an exotic you have to look for that you want those stats you have to find those stats but for every other ship that can be upgraded these ships I really think and I really hope they are tied to the seed and that everyone, everybody can have a certain if I want 181 hyperdrive if, I, if someone else finds one then I can go and get it so to summarize and I put some little graphics up on the screen now you need to come to a system with 100 uh, with 85,000 nanites you go up to the, you buy a ship don't get in the ship Make, make your save getting out your own ship come up to the terminal uh, upgrade to an S class take a screenshot of the stats make sure there's no modules there buffing the stats and um, post them to people get people to come to these places test out the uh, what stats they get and if they're the same I think we've got a whole new uh, field of research to be doing so and that's the end I'm going to go back and get that nice um, pink wing eagle winged explorer I think and that's where I'll leave you so uh, I'll be back streaming tomorrow and let's see if we can do a bit more um, research on this because I think this is going to be pretty big anyway like subscribe share and I'll see you next time